Hey everybody, this is Matt with Option Omega. Thanks for checking out the video. This video is a follow-up to our Option Omega 101 video. So in the Option Omega 101 video, we went through the different fields of the back tester, as you can see here. We went through and kind of described what a lot of them did, at least at a high level, and walked you through getting started in the app. This video has a different purpose. This is the 201 video. So we're going to be digging into a couple more advanced topics. And instead of just clicking on the boxes and saying, okay, this is how to use the entry time. And this is what adjusting the entry time does before you click run. We're going to go through more concepts of how to better perhaps use the app. So um, join us. I've got the chapter titles in the bottom of the YouTube description. So you can jump ahead to certain parts of the video or reference them again if you want to come back to them. Thanks. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Discord. So if you're not familiar with Discord, this is Discord. And here is the Option Omega server. We have a super, super active Discord. And if you're one of the couple hundred people online right now and you're in the general channel, you may think it's not that active. You just have a couple comments here and there. Well, if you're a subscriber, you need to get verified. All the action is in the verified channels. So these channels here, the OO related and the trading channels are where we have discussion. People post trades, uh, talk about mindset, talk about their brokers. It's a great community. It's really growing. We've got the Cigar Lounge, which is also a public channel, and we post our Cigar Lounge videos. Uh, shared trades, and there is some discussion there, but the discussion is 90% of it is in these verified channels. So if you are new to Option Omega, you need to get verified. So we've got a super active uh, community here. Like I said, there's there's usually upwards of several hundred people on talking all day long. And it's also a place people ask us if we have trade ideas. Uh, we're not a trade idea generator. We're not uh, trying to give you trades to put on or trades that we recommend. That's not at all what we do. But the community does have a lot of folks who share trades and uh, this is where you'll find them. So a lot of people get ideas from Discord and then further refine and adapt trades in a way that makes sense for them. So I'll put the link to the Discord. Again, it's free to join, but the only channels you'll see are the general and these information channels here. So if you're trialing the software, you get access to help and feedback. Um, but the juice of the discord is in these verified channels. So, uh, we'd love to see you on there and the link is below. Okay. In this video, what we're going to talk about is contract size allocation and a couple of different ways you can tweak it. So we use industry standard margin calculations. So we've got all of these strategies built into the tester where you can be long or short, a bunch of really common strategies that um, you're, you're very familiar with. You can also build your own by clicking add leg. You can start without a strategy or start with a strategy and then add on to it. You can now go up to eight legs. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But in general, we use this strategy selector and industry standard margin calculators to come up with how many contracts you're running. I want to get a little bit deeper into how to manipulate that. So this is a strategy here. This is just a, a, a put spread. So this is um, you're short a put spread. So we're along the market. So if you look at these, we are uh, selling a higher strike, buying a lower strike, and then closing out. And this test has a 80% win rate in the last uh, year, basically. And a lot of people run these strategies, but uh, find them hard to scale up because when you get a loser, your loser can blow you out. Now, of course, you could play around with stop losses and whatnot, just for the point of this. This could be the type of test where somebody wants to smooth out this graph and maybe limit um, limit some of the downside. We've already limited it to 10 contracts. If you run the same test with five contracts, it doesn't change all that much, but it does a little bit. But then if you run it without any contract limit at all, or we'll say a hundred, which we're not going to get there probably, but let's see how it does with a hundred. So yeah, you can see it, <laughs> the bar ratio gets killed and, um, you end up, uh, you end up, up where you started, so you'd still be up 34%, but um, you had tripled your account at one point. And then if you keep running the strategy, that goes away and you go back down to basically starting over again and then a gradual climb up. So with a strategy like this, that's kind of binary, 
or this test at least is binary. Their strategy doesn't have to be. A lot of people use the max contracts to limit how many trades we're doing. Okay. So again, you could, you could, you could play around with this. This is a key part of back testing and you can play around with it and find out where a happy spot is um, in conjunction with some other things. And uh, that way you get a, a MAR ratio that you're happy with. The MAR ratio is simply a calculation that measures your return and your drawdown. So a lot of people use that as a quick um, one glance to see how a strategy does. It's, you know, it, it encompasses both the risk and reward, the risk being the downside, the reward being the upside. So the contract cap is a really powerful way of adjusting or tweaking how much margin you want. Of course, you can easily just up your margin allocation and you can also change your starting funds. But the, the important thing from this is that there's a lot of levers to pull. So usually some combination of these levers, uh, your starting funds right here, your capital allocation and your number of contracts will allow you to fine tune these trades in a way that makes most sense for the back test you're running and the type of trading that you want to simulate the type of trading that you like to do. Again, margin calculation is different by broker. This is a pretty simple trade, but if you start to get into some of the more esoteric trades where you have a, a diagonalized or a calendarized trade that has multiple times. For example, if we diagonalized this and um, changed, I have no idea how this will do and changed the DTE, then um, that adds a whole nother level of complexity, right? So uh, you can look at how much margin we're calculating. Uh, we're not trying to make it a secret. You can look at it it's, it's one of the fields. If you click on the settings button in the trade log. So at the end of the trade, you click on the settings button in the trade log, you can get the margin field. And some people are really sensitive to it and they can see it here. So again, if, if the way that optional mega calculates the margin, isn't what you're used to, that's understandable because there's variations in the major brokers and how they calculate. So between the starting capital, the percentage allocation and the number of contracts per trade, we've given you a lot of tools for how to uh, tweak your allocation in a way that makes most sense for you. Okay. In this part of the video, we're going to look at multi-leg and multi-trade situations. So as you probably know, we have strategies that have up to four legs in the back tester as they are. So if you do a double calendar or a, a double diagonal or a iron condor, you'll have four legs. And we also can do uh, custom trades of up to eight legs. Okay. So if you have a trade that you want to see how it does in a back test over time with another trade, a lot of people are actually using this eight leg trade to do kind of a quick and dirty version of that. So you could take a put credit spread. And if you wanted to, in addition to doing a put credit spread, you wanted to do a, uh, a call credit spread, you know, and, and, and turn it into a different type of trade. You could do that very easily just by adding a couple legs. What I want to talk about though, is a more in-depth way of looking at multiple trades, which is the portfolios. So in the app, you just click on portfolios, click on new portfolio. And what this does is this allows you to select multiple trades. You can do different allocations. So like if you wanted to do a double calendar here and a put credit spread here and see how they do year to date, it'd be pretty easy. Now, a couple things to know the dates in the starting up here will override the port will override the individual tests as will the allocation. This is important. So in a portfolio, this allocation here is what's going to determine it. So if we run that, the portfolio will take a little bit longer to run because you're running multiple tests. Geez, still really, really fast. And uh, I have no idea how this trade would do, but actually uh, at, one point, at one point in time, you're up quite a bit, not finishing the year quite as strong, but this allows you to play with trades in a whole new way. You can, you can see how uh, different trades will work 
Uh, you can hedge trades with different allocations. You can do all sorts of things. This is a s extremely simple. I only have five back tests here that I'm looking at, but this allows you to get very granular with the trades. So there's a lot of use cases for these. So after you run your back test, uh, it's got a summary screen just like a normal trade does. It also has the trade log over here, which shows uh, the combination of trades. In addition, we also have a strategies tab and we've, here I'll move it over a little bit. We've got a strategies tab right there so you can see all the tests. And we've also got the daily log. So this is something that's unique to the portfolio and shows you kind of how it evolves over time. So the, the portfolio feature is extremely powerful. A couple other use cases. Now, I don't think I have any in this, but you can mix and match underlines here. So if you want to test how QQQ does in proportion to IWM or SPY, there'd be some really interesting pair trades. You can do some interesting long short ideas. You can use uh, offsetting tickers to hedge each other. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Also, you can break down trades and get even more granular with their components. Okay, one of the most common ways that people would use portfolio to look at different segments is to take a four-legged trade like this iron condor. So this is really simple. I've just got a year-to-date condor, uh, 15 delta, 50 wide, open on Monday mornings. And that was the put credit spread. Here's the Colx credit spread. 15 delta, 50 wide, open Monday mornings. As you can see, the MAR, the CAGR on the call credit spreads a little bit better. And so if we go into portfolios and make a portfolio, it's gonna perform about the same way as the trade does. So we're gonna allocate 20% to each fit. We'll click run, see how it does. We'll just do last 90 days for fun. So if you do last 90 days, not great. That was really quick though. So we'll take it out to the full year. So you're running these four legged tests there. And so say you, you get this result and you're like, I wonder if I could make that test a little bit better and look at the component parts of it, the call credit spread and the put credit spread and see if I can get those a little bit better. So if we go back to the test, we could play around with this. So let's see. So put credit spread, we can look at it and see the drop-offs are pretty big. We got stopped out a couple times. Wonder what would happen just for grins because we're only taking 40% of the profit. Even though it's 50 wide, that's still leaving most of the profit on the table. Let's just see for fun how it does with, oh, there you go. What I did was I took off the profit and the stop loss, go back into portfolio, make the portfolio again, and run these together. And if we run them year to date, we should get an even better result. Profitable, not a great CAGR, um, but you can manipulate uh, condors or other trades if you wanted to. Again, calendars, diagonals, you could break them down into component pieces. If you click on strategies, you can again see what they were. You can get detailed. So in this case, we took the put credit spread, we didn't uh, use a uh, stop loss or profit target. And we did on the call credit spread and we're, we were able to improve the overall trade. So that's one example of what you can do using portfolios to break a trade down into kind of the pieces that make the trade up. Okay, the final thing we're going to talk about is our custom signals tester. So this is an advanced feature. It's under the advanced options section in the back tester. And I am on optionalmegadocs.com, which is our documentation website link below, but it's optionalmegadocs.com. And you have to unlock this tester. And this file is kind of a mandatory read. I'll also link the video below, which we did explaining what the tester does. And I'll show you where it is here. Boom, it's right here. Just a quick conversation why you might want to use this tester. I had that question today. And basically the answer to that is there are signals. We have a lot of things you can test in the back tester, but there are signal uh, combinations that are unique to individuals. And so this lets you have a date, a time, you can have closing date and time, you can have uh, buy, sell, what, what the strike is, 
uh, quantity. You can get uh, very granular with the data that you input and you can test whatever signal you want. So if we look at trading view, which is just one of the, the platforms, one of the many ways people do charting, you can see this is a pretty simple loadout of SPX and I'm not going to really talk a lot about it. Other than that, I've just got VWAP and a few indicators here. If I wanted to test every time in the past month that we hit VWAP and I wanted to sell spreads against it, that is what I can use the custom signals tester for. So again, thank you for checking out the video and going through Option Omega 201 with us and looking kind of at the why and the how a little bit to use the back tester. We have annual and monthly subscriptions available, optionomega.com, and we hope to see you on the Discord. Thank you very much.